Hello, people. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, sorry I didn't throw out the video this morning, which I would have recorded yesterday, but I was busy yesterday. So I'm going to do the video as of today because I've been trying to, like I said, I've been trying to use my new phone to um, do things. But I do have jokes for you guys. And um, I want to give you guys a 100 push-up challenge off the wall, though. Because people with disabilities or people that are overweight or whatever the case may be, you can't do the regular 100 off the floor push-ups. I used to be able to do them, but now that I don't have the strength in my left side because due to the stroke, but by Christmas I will be able to do them. I, I promise you I'm going to do them. I'm not the type of person to just sit there and let things go by me. But anyways, I do have my water bottle with me today. I have my cane. And I also got my list of jokes. So we're going to start off real quick with a quick one. Since I didn't give you guys none on Monday. What has a body and a tail? Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. What has a tail and a head? But no body. What has a tail and a head? and But no body. A coin and I do get like a lot of jokes but um if you follow me through my video I'm gonna go ahead and do um the Pilates ring but I'm gonna use the Pilates ring in in different ways because you want to start building that resistance up because you want to start getting that strength up you want to be able to hold things so what I'm doing right now is trying to build resistance up where I've got strength in this start building up strength in your uh, your affected say and I got my cane there too, so we could do upper body. But today we're going to do some more squats because I feel like those have been helping me out with my walking a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I do have both my cane. My cane. I do have both my, um, my braces on today. And I do have a quick joke, another quick joke for you guys. Um, why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? I'm sure you guys heard this one before. Because he lost his feeling. Anyways. So just follow me through. We're going to go ahead and start the workouts really quick today. Sorry about the sun. I've been trying to use my other phone to record. And I tried to do a quick um, recording like about an hour ago. And it wouldn't. The app that I put it on. Because it's a new app compared to the, the one I'm doing on this one. Hopefully this works back. Because I had to switch it back to this app. The original app. So I could download it on, on YouTube. So we're going to put our hands together in praying position. Jesus, please look after me and my family. And look after my dog, Pee, And look after everybody that watches my videos. Help them with their recovery as well as me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Remember, I'm not trying to be religious on you guys. You guys do whatever you guys do, and I do what I do. And the lighting can be good because I just readjusted everything. I apologize for that. I've been trying to work on a lot of little things, people. But we're going to do like the 100 off the wall push-ups off of there. Do them in 20s, you know what I mean? Whatever you can, just try to do 100 in each day. Whatever you could do, you know. If you could do more, do more. But this is going to help build your tolerance up. Plus, it's also helping me out with my hand. Look at my hand. Because when I put my hand against the wall, I'm putting it like that. And I put this hand over that. So it keeps it nice and flat, which has been helping. Didn't know that was going to be a thing. But for me, it's been working. And um, one of my subscribers or one of the people that views my channel, he was saying something about going to get um, Botox. I looked into Botox too, but Botox is only going to, it's a temporary fix. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get a permanent fix. I don't know if it's going to be permanent because the nerve damage is a nerve damage because of the neurological thing. But either way, I just didn't want to do the shots. I, I talked to my um. My doctor about doing it so i gotta be sent to a neurologist and i i thought about it and he said that you do it it's only gonna be a temporary thing you have to go like every couple of months go get a shot again to whatever spot you want it to um heal and that's cool and all that but look it i haven't even did no stretching out it's all about putting the work in people you keep putting the work in it's gonna happen 
we are going to do legs today, but what I want to show you guys is just once you put the work in, people, you're going to start seeing the effects. You're going to start seeing the efforts that you've been putting in all the work. You're going to see the, the effects of your work getting put in, and it's going to help pay off. Because I'm sure you guys got family and you guys got kids or grandkids or whatever, nephews, nieces, or whatever. And you want to start playing with them or doing stuff, or you got a dog or Pee Wee. Speaking of, she's over here getting in mischief over there. Pee Wee, get over here. Come on. Get over here. And, um, you want to start playing and doing things, just even doing your own thing. You want to start building that tolerance up. You want to be able to, like yesterday when I went to the store, I was walking around the store for like a while. I, before I couldn't even walk around the store. I remember when I used to have to get an electric cart. I don't do that anymore. No I could get it and I could just get in it right now and do that. And I could get the special parking thing for my brother so he could drive me wherever I want. You know, one of those um, disability things. I don't, I'm not going to be about that. I'm going to get better, so I don't have to worry about those things. I don't know if I'm going to get 100% better, but I'm going to try my best to do what I can. So put our hands together. We're just going to do some quick ones today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. When I do the push-ups off the wall, they're just they're they're cheating. They're cheating ones, but that's gonna get enable you to start getting there. It's gonna start building your tolerance up to give you a push-up because most people out there that had a stroke, you probably can do regular push-ups if you can. You didn't have a severe stroke because you have real bad weakness on your on your affected side. I tried to do some last week before I started this um, push-ups off the wall thing. The last video I think I did or two videos ago. Um, and I tried to do it on the floor. I held myself up for a second. And then once I got like, you know, like about the halfway point, my arm collapsed and I just fell over. Pretty much had Peavy's dog fur on my face. I was just like, yeah, so I'm going to start doing these. Like the other day when I did my video, after I did that video, I ended up coming outside. I did like 120 push-ups off the wall. And not in all one shot, but I did 20 sets of 20s. You want to start building your tolerance up. Because once you start doing that, you're going to start getting used to it. So I would say like in a couple of months, hopefully, I can start doing regular push-ups. But I want to do it before Christmas. So and I want to be off both my braces before Christmas. It's going to take work. It could happen. Do you guys hear about the new restaurant? It's called Karma. Have you heard about the new restaurant? It's called Karma. There's no menu though. So you get what you deserve. Anyways. I'll have a couple of jokes. I have like a list of jokes. I'm not joking. I got like a list of them. I got pages of them. But anyways. We're going to keep this going right here. So we're going to do this. We're going to start building this tolerance up. So you want to try to keep this your affected side as stiff as you can. So you want to start using your unaffected side. To help out with your effect, to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If you can subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. If you can hit the bell button, it's going to remind you when I got new videos coming out. If you got any comments, leave them down below. Let me know if you guys want to take this challenge with me. Doing 100 push-ups every day off the wall. They're not regular push-ups, but it's going to help build your tolerance up. And I'm telling you, by doing them off the wall, it's helping my hand come. It's helping my hand straighten out a lot better. It's helping out with the plasticity in it. Besides me doing the water bottle squeeze and, and the stress ball squeeze and the, and the tens muscle thing. It's all those little things that's going to help build you to where you want to get. Nothing is going to be one thing, one hit wonder 
of achievement. It's all about these little things that's going to help build up to where you want to get. It's going to take work, people. But once you start putting that work and you start seeing it, you're going to get motivated to do more. I could barely even do 20 before, like off the wall. When I first started like a couple months ago, when I did the first video with them, I could barely do those 20. Now, the other day, like I said, I did 120 of them. Not all in one shot. I did them in sets of 20, but not a problem. You'll see in a second. So I'm going to leave it right here because um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good shot. We'll try it. Pee -wee. I got Pee -wee right there. Hopefully she stays out of the way this time. Because in my last video I did, she was wanting to be all in the mix with me. And it's kind of tough, people, doing all these video things and stuff by yourself. I don't have a, anybody that helps me. I do all this by myself. I got to write down all the jokes and stuff. I got to pick up my dog's poop. I prep my own meals. The only thing I get help from is my brother gave me a ride to the store like he did yesterday or to like Walgreens or wherever I got to get my meds little things like that and otherwise I get a transportation to go to uh, my physical therapy but I'm still not in physical therapy right now so what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna get the hand spread out get the hand spread out that way your fingers are all open and then you want to put your unaffected side over that and this is for the 100, 100 push-up challenge okay no, they're not real push ups like they're really supposed to, but you gotta start building that tolerance up. Because you might be out of shape, you might be overweight, you might have disabilities where you don't have the strength. But this is gonna help build that up. It's gonna help build your confidence up too. Because I used to be able to push out 100 push ups in one shot. Used to before I had my stroke. And I think because that mentality is the reason why I keep doing these videos. Yeah, I could put out one video a week and just let you guys be happy with that, but I don't, I want to help you get motivated. You guys give me three videos a week, so it shows you that if it, you guys see a little bit of progress in me, you guys can see it happening with yourselves. So let's go ahead and do this. Like I said, keep that pen, your affected hand flat as you can on against the wall, and then your other affected hand over that hand, so that way your hand doesn't curl up. Enough talking, let's get to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 20. Remember, if you do them in 20, 20, if you do them in sets like of 20, it's going to help you to get through these and start building your um, endurance up. Like I said, it's going to help encourage you to do more. I hope it does. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to take this challenge with me. Doesn't matter if you guys had a stroke or you guys got other disabilities, just try. How are you going to know you can't do it unless you try? And if you have somebody to help you, let them help you. But try them off the wall. That's going to be easier for you. That's going to be like an assisted push up. And then once you get past that, then you want to start building your strength and your tolerance. And you, and you should be able to start doing them off the I don't know how long it's going to take you to get on the floor to do them, but this is going to help, this is going to help build you to get there. Pee stop. I already did 20 before I did these 20 already, before I turned on the camera. Because like I said, I was already an hour before this time to record. So I already got 40 in, so we're gonna do another 20 right now. Remember, hand open. 
another hand over it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920. Remember, people, you got to start trying to do th different things. You got to get out of that comfort zone. You want to start, you want to start proving to yourself you can do this because I, I believe in you guys. You got to start believing in yourselves before you, once you start doing that, it's a mindset. You remember when you're probably in a wheelchair or whatever the case may be, when you probably couldn't even walk. I couldn't walk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wing myself off these braces. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to have to put a little bit more extra work in there. And that's why I've been doing these videos as well, to show you guys I could do it. There's times I fall. Like yesterday, I fell yesterday on, the, on my butt. I was walking in the backyard, walking in a spot to pick up dog, dog poop. And I tripped up. I turned around, and my foot got caught on the grassy stuff. I didn't have my cane with me. I didn't think I was going to fall. You, you don't plan to fall. But it happened. So I walked, I didn't walk, I drug my butt on the grass and um, or the weeds or whatever, I drug my butt on there. Luckily there was no poop, otherwise I would have drug my ass against some poop. But anyways, I got over here to like the swing set, held on real quick and got my ass up. But I'm gonna do one more set for you guys, for myself as well. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. If you guys can, so that's three sets I already did today. If you guys can, leave it in the comments down below what you guys are doing, what kind of exercise you guys have been doing. If you guys want to take me up on this challenge, just try it. If you don't want to do that kind of challenge, do some kind of challenge. Challenge me with something. Show me what you guys are doing that you want me to try what you guys are doing. I'll try it. I'm not afraid of nothing. Because once I know that if I fall and I, I'll figure out how to way to get a pass that. How am I going to know if I can't do it if I don't try? So I want you guys to know that. Put the effort in and try. You guys ain't going to get past it. You guys are going to get that little. You guys will be able to do this before you had a stroke. So it's all about retraining the brain with the body and get them to work together again. It's going to happen. It's going to take time. It's going to take a little bit of courage. It's going to take endurance. But that's why I'm trying to do these exercises with you guys and show you that things are possible. I'm going to do one more set. I didn't say you could do them all in one shot. If you can, then good for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to help build you up, people. They're not going to be the best push-ups you could ever do. I mean, if you guys ever were able to do push-ups regularly, I'm sure you guys did them okay. But this is going to help build you. This is going to help build that tolerance up for you guys. I'm just trying to show you guys that if you put the work in, it's going to happen. Okay, I set this up a little bit. Now we're going to do some squats. 
I do have both my braces on, okay? Look at your surroundings, because I did almost trip up right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excuse me. Remember, the more you keep doing these exercises, the easier it's gonna get about, the easier it's gonna get. But don't expect nothing to change if you don't make any changes, okay? I'm going to go back over there and give you guys a couple more little jokes. I just want to show you guys that anything's possible, people. Yes, I'm a little bit out of wind. I've been, I'm doing it. I'm putting in the work, people. What do sea monsters eat? What do sea monsters eat? Fish and chips. What do you call a bear with no teeth? What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Anyways, like I said, I do have a big old list. I just turned the page. I got pages over here too. Got a lot of little things, people. I'm trying to work on everything. I don't know. You guys gotta keep putting the effort in. That's all I'm just trying to embed into you guys' minds. Showing you that. Keep trying all these little exercises. Whatever one's gonna work for you, that you feel like it's making improvements. Because like I said, Doing the push-ups off the wall, putting my hand there, look at my hand staying flat or open. It's open flatter, I should say. And I also am trying my fasting. Like I said, I don't eat until after two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm doing like a 16, 16 to eight, eight hours of a window where I could eat. And then 16 hours of not eating at all. No calorie intake at all, just water, just water. I haven't been losing a lot of weight, not yet. Because it's going to take your body to adjust to that. Just like everything else, doing the push-ups and everything else. It's going to take your body to adjust to everything you do. So I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know if you guys like the jokes. If you guys want to take that challenge up with me, okay? doesn't matter if you guys take it with me or not. But I would appreciate if you guys would. Showing that you guys got it in you to do something. you got to challenge yourself, people. All right, you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys Friday. Take care.